WFNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Thursday, the 27th of July. And we've got the Dow up 73 points at 35,593. The high yesterday was 35,633. Today's high is uh, a dollar less than that so far. I'm looking at this and I'm suggesting to, uh, to uh, those who use Chapman Wave methodology that that 914 is still, the price is way above the 9, 9 is way above the 40. What a nice tool that is. I did not listen to it much to my chagrin. We did we actually have call long positions, but on a, a very short-term basis, we got short, but got stopped out. Small loss, but hey, yeah, I should have just beheld it until we get all the signals. I think at 10.20 today, that's another uh, less than 20 minutes. I think that's where the next part of the session starts. And will prices hold is the question I have today. Just I'm talking about just on the daily basis. Looking at the S&P, same thing. Price is way over the 9. 9 is way over the 14. We've added to it in a leg. I'm calling this at least for now leg F to the upside. 4607.07. Very much above yesterday's high. Gapped up. These gaps at highs, you've got to watch them closely because at some point, these are the ones that get filled. I don't go with that rule that all gaps get filled at some point. Of course, if you're talking about 10 years, maybe yes. But on a short-term basis, you just got to go one step at a time. So up 36 is very good action looking at the QQQ. Now, this is fascinating. QQQs are up 6.69 at 384.21. They're not above the high of uh, six sessions, uh, six, seven sessions ago of 387.13 at 384.23. But it is a cup formation acting very well. IWM, Russell 2000. Uh, right here is uh, made a new recovery high at 197.90, trading just under that right now. I'm calling this a leg E, and if you do the measurement, we'll do that in my show coming up. The Tiger Technicians Hour to see if strength is uh, added to or subtracted. Let's look at gold. Gold looked like it was really moving up earlier on. I've got it. I don't know where this comes from. It says up 14. Nonsense. It's not up 14. It's at 1985, going towards the 200 period exponential moving average. Uh, looking at the dollar, dollars moving up, not uh, well, sharply from the low, but it hasn't taken out the high of three days ago. It's at 101.57.54. Uh, looking at bonds, let me just go to bonds, and bonds are down. Crude oil is up. I'll be back. 